With this worksheet, you need to draw circles using these crosses as their centers and draw them to the diameters given. Now, for these three, you can use a circle template. However, there is no circle template for this diameter circle, so we will use a compass for that. Well, let's start out with this one. What you should do first is draw construction lines through the crosses because they'll enable you to line up the quadrant markers on the circle template. If you look at the circle template, each one of these circles has marks at the quadrants. Some templates might have little bumps there. So half an inch diameter, find the half inch diameter circle template. So place that down so that the quadrant markers here and here and here and here align with the construction lines that you just drew. And then trace the circle. And that's how you use a circle template. Now what about this one? 1 and 13 16 inches. That's a bit of an unusual diameter. Now know that diameter is the distance from the center to opposite points on the circumference. Radius is the distance from the center to a point on the circumference. So we need to find the radius of this, that is half this distance. So what is half of 1 and 13 16 inches? I think an easy off-the-cuff way to do that would be to divide 1 and divide 13 16 and add them together. So half of 1 is half an inch. Half of 13 16 would be between 6 16 and 7 16. Let's just round it off and say 7 16. That technically gives us 14 16 for half of that, but that's okay. Now, find the true scale, and then what we'll do is mark off this plus this. So first off, half an inch is from here to here. And then let's mark off 7 sixteenths. Each of these lines is a sixteenth of an inch because there are 16 of them in one inch. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there we go. From here to here is half of this. And you would draw it by taking your compass, setting the point here, setting the lead at the other end, and then carefully drawing the circle. And you will do that here. To check it, what you can do is draw a construction line through there and then take your scale and then see if this dimension is 1 and 13 16 inches. So here's 1 inch and then if you count over it looks like this is at 13 16. So you've done it correctly.